Hi mom, and hello everybody else. Uh, what I wanted to show you today is that when you get Minecraft, I mean it's not it's not super cheap for, you know, something that's basically a glorified Lego set, let's, let's be honest. But uh, you don't just get the basic game. I already showed you one of the texture packs. You can change how the game looks. But there's also loads and loads and loads of mods is short for modifications, I believe, which you can get, which can just completely change the game and add immense amounts of content to it. Now, what you're looking at now, this is the Technic Launcher, Technic Launcher, uh, and you can get this from the website, which I will put a link in the description to. You download this, and this gives you access to a whole bunch of mod packs, which have been carefully uh, selected and arranged. They work with each other. And it gives the game just an entirely new experience. We're going to have a look at this today. Now, this is the main one, which is called Tekkit. And this includes all kinds of industrial stuff, magic stuff. You can build a rocket ship and visit another planet. I mean, it's really quite amazing. Uh, and there's also Hexit. Uh, I haven't played this one, but I think it's kind of like a running around killing monsters thing more than anything. I don't know to check these all out eventually. Attack of the B Team, again I haven't tried this one to give it a try sometime. Take it light. This is designed for multiplayer servers which uh, don't have the resources to run Tech It, basically. <clears throat> so, I don't need to worry about that. Volts is another one I haven't tried. I mean these are all, it's like playing playing a whole new game, each of these. Big Dig. Take It Classic. This is what we're going to be playing today. Uh, this is the older version of the Tekkit pack. It's a bit easier than the newer version. It has a fewer mods included in it. There's no going to the moon, there's less magic stuff, and therefore it's easier to run on the computer. So basically that's why I'm going to do that one for today. We'll get to the other one eventually. This is the Yogg box, which is created by the Yogg's cast. It includes a lot of very nice mods. Hack slash mine. This turns Minecraft into sort of a first person shooter. Where, I mean, you still, in, in all of these, you still have all the basic Minecraft stuff, but on top of that, you've got other stuff. So, for example, in this one, there's lots of dungeons and towers with lots of different monsters in them and different equipment and things and treasure that you can find. And then there's a basic Minecraft, which you can also watch from here. You can see how interesting it looks compared to the others. So, what we're going to do now, and this isn't even all of the available mods. I mean, this is just the ones that are included in the Technic Launcher. So bear that in mind. Alright, we're going to give a try at the Technic at uh, Tekkit Classic today, which is a lot of fun. And we'll just press play here and get started. Okay, so uh, we've downloaded the client, it's been installed, it opens it up. And what this this has done actually is, is uh, downloaded a separate copy of Minecraft from the main one. So this has nothing in common, it's in a different folder on the computer, this is like a new uh, program with all of these mods installed. And you'll notice it looks different, this is actually not automatic. I have installed already uh, a texture pack. Sfax Pure BD Craft, which has been patched for Tekkit. Uh, this is pretty easy to find online. Alright, and uh, we'll press the single player button, as we do. Now I've already started playing and found a good world and uh, explored a little bit and gotten some basic stuff and we're gonna have a look and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we can do in Tekkit Classic. There we go. So this is my little hut. Um, I have it on peaceful because I don't want to worry about monsters and stuff right now. It's, it's difficult enough to get everything I need without that. I've got my usual crafting table, furnace, bed, and a chest. I've got a lot of stuff in the chest already. All kinds of interesting things, including many things which don't exist in the basic game already. This is nickelite, valuable dust, uh, sapphires here. You can get emeralds in the base game, but they have they actually have a lot more uses in this. This is redstone. Sticky resin, this is something important which we're gonna have a look at. Um, all kinds of ore, tin, silver, copper, and we're gonna do some very, very crazy stuff. Now my ultimate goal for this game is to build a fireworks factory. That's what I want to do. There we go. 
And uh, you can see in the upper right hand corner of the screen, there's a map, a mini map. It's very, very helpful. If you press the apostrophe key, you can actually see a much larger version. You can have a look at what's close by you. And uh, go out here. And you might even notice I've got a very shiny pick, it's an emerald pickaxe made out of emeralds. Um, you also might notice that my skin is kind of messed up. <laughs> That's because uh, this is using an older version of Minecraft and the skin files were different. And in order to make my skin look good on this, I would have to go change the skin file and upload it to my Minecraft account. This, this is actually linked to your Minecraft account. So I may do that later, but just for now, my shirt's on my face and um, I look a bit like a robot. I'm alright with that. There's some trees over here. Now I've actually found and planted some rubber tree saplings, which have grown into beautiful rubber trees. These are very important for Tekkit, because they create sticky resin. There's some right here. These yellow blobs, which can be harvested with a tree tap. Right-clicking. These are going to be turned into rubber, which is a critical substance. Ticket classic. The new Ticket version is much easier to get rubber. You just cut down the trees and they drop rubber stuff. But uh, once you have a few trees, these will respawn actually on the trunk. So you can come out here later, find some more of these yellow blobs. So that's one one new thing here. Now what I have done already. This stuff away for now. Need it at the moment. Oh, I get another rubber tree sack. Um, so I've already done quite a bit of mining, as you saw. And there we go. I have found. Fortunately, it took a while, but I have found four diamonds. I used three of them to make this pick. And now what I need. Uh, if I go into my inventory, you'll see this is called, uh, I think this is too many items. Or it might be not enough items, I'm not sure. They're, they're very similar. Basically, I can search for anything in the game. I can cheat and take it for myself. I don't do that. You can also, if you find something you need. Now, what I want to make is the Philosopher's Stone. I hover over it and press the R key, and it gives me the recipe for how to make it. So you can search for any item in the game and search for the recipe and you know how to make it immediately. There's also some cheaty things over here you can save your inventory. So if you die, you just click load and it'll give all your stuff back. And uh, can change the weather, you can change the time. We're not gonna mess with that. But uh, I wanna make a Philosopher's Stone. A philosopher's Stone can be used for alchemy, where you take objects and turn them into other objects, which is really cool. But to make this, I need glowstone dust, along with redstone and a diamond. I have a diamond, I have the redstone but I need the glowstone dust, and glowstone dust is only found in the nether. To get to the nether, I need obsidian to make a gate, and to mine obsidian, I need a pick, and then I need to find some lava, or magma. And uh, combine it with water to make obsidian. Now, this is a huge cave system. I, I actually, this is a really nice area. This, by the way, this is marble. It's not a very useful rock for making things, but it creates beautiful buildings. I'll probably use that for my, my fireworks factory. Now, how am I going to find my way back? I haven't left too many signals around here, it's just torches. However, I press the period key and click waypoints. In this game, I am guaranteed never to get lost as long as I remember to set waypoints. Turn them off and on. Well, you can add as many as you want. If you look up here, Home is this way, no matter how far away you are, you can see that. And the way down to the magma is down here. I already found it. So I've just got to make my way in that direction. Getting close. And you see the dock gets bigger the closer you get to it. It's fantastic. Very useful. Alright. Yes. So here's the way down to the magma. Have to go this way. There's the magma. Alright. Now, if you remember, to make obsidian, I need water plus magma, and I brought a bucket with me. So 
that I can very easily create some to find a water source block is the problem. <laughs> These are all moving water. I have to find a source block. Some up there. Oh, there's already some obsidian right here, actually. We've got to be very careful mining obsidian, because often... Ooh, there's some useful stuff here. Often there will be magma underneath obsidian. When you when you mine it out, magma can come flowing out. So I'm gonna be very careful. Yeah. Yes, we are golden mining. We need to find the city. I hope we spot some diamonds. We have not dug quite deep enough. All right, so thanks to my little home waypoint, very easy to get here without getting lost. I've got my, uh, I got 15 blocks of obsidian. I think I need 14, so that should be fine. So I've got to find a place to build this portal. And these things are noisy and scary, so I don't want to put it in my house, you know, or my bed. And uh, I happen to notice in the big map here, do you see this? In the bottom there, there's like this black. And I, if that's what I think it is, then I think that'll be the perfect place to build a portal. So let's, let's run on down there. And... Oh yeah, look at that. See that right there? That is basalt, I think it's pronounced. Mine that out. Nope. Could use that for building some scary dark things. And uh, I can only think of one reason why this would be here. So let's, let's go investigate a little bit further. Oh, and there's jungle here too. That's Oh, that's wonderful. You can get uh, cocoa beans in the jungle. Go see. Oh, there's lots and lots of it, my goodness. So these trees look a little, uh, a little damaged. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is. It's a volcano. This is a volcano. My house is near a volcano. Wonderful. It's not erupting now. But this will actually erupt. And it looks like it already has at least once. God. All right. Well, I I certainly don't want to put uh, anything on the top of that volcano. I'm not sure which way. Yeah. Maybe I can build like a little, a little shelter in case the volcano erupts, so it goes around the portal. Right. All right. Took a bit longer than expected, but I've got some nice protection here if the volcano ever decides to blow up again. And now, moment of truth, there's the portal. Maybe we can turn the waypoint off. Still here. And it's time to go in and find us some glowstone. Clear world. In we go. <laughs> Gotta remember this is unpeaceful. So even though there will be plenty of danger from uh, lava, I'm 
not in any danger from... Alright, now there's ore in the nether now. Apparently, if you mine that, it might explode. Um, so it's not really worth getting. see any glowstone. Where am I? some lava. Take care of that. No business. Not having any of that. Okay. This is what we need. Glowstone. This stuff is awesome. It, it does actually glow. We can make lamps and stuff out of it. It's also used for many other things. Now, keep in mind, if I didn't have the sun peaceful, there would be all kinds of horrifying things trying to kill me right now. And also keep in mind, if you're going to play on a multiplayer server, you usually don't have it on peaceful. There's usually monsters around, so you got to mentally prepare yourself for that. Quite a bit for a good start right there. Let's go with that. Back to the portal and back home. That wasn't so bad. Philosopher's Stone. Now, what do we do with this? Check the layout here. Oh, if I get three more obsidian, I've already got one. I can make a transmutation tablet, which is even better. So I think what I want to make is this transmutation tablet. I think that'll be much more useful. So for that, I need three more obsidian. Drop off some stuff, and I'll go get some more obsidian. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And... Oh, transmutation table. Oh, and it doesn't even eat up the philosopher's stone. I need to put this down, I think. Some more space in here. A little, a little alcove here. Look at this. This is going to be fun. It's going to take a while to figure out how everything works. I'm going to play around. I'll probably look on the wiki. But basically, this is used for transforming things. Now, I'm going to play around with this for a while, and then uh, make another video when I figured out some of how to use it. Now, next time around, we're going to build some machines using some of the rubber we found, making some circuits, making some, making a, a masticator, which can 
masticator, macerator, macerator to pulverize things into powder uh, and get us more resources. I'm gonna start to lay down some pipes and just generally we're gonna explore some more wood ticket this to offer. Hope you've enjoyed this and see you next time.